Phoenix Mercury played in San Antonio tonight and will return home Sunday for a very special celebration. The team will retire Penny Taylor's jersey, and Mark McClune spoke with the former Mercury star. These days, not much has changed for Penny Taylor. She's still going to basketball practice in downtown Phoenix. It's so exciting. I get to keep learning about the game. I get to stay involved with this team that I care about. I get to learn from a coach who I really respect. And not many people can go from one thing they love into another thing they love um, so quickly. After a 10-year playing career, she's now the Mercury Director of Player Development. And on Sunday will become just the fifth member of the franchise whose name will hang in the rafters at Talking Stick Resort Arena. Look, it means a lot to me. This has, you know, been my home really since I was about, what, 22, 23. So it's um, pretty special to be shown this level of appreciation. And, you know, um, it, it, it's a little emotional. She's had a busy season so far, marrying former teammate Diana Tarazi, who became the league's all-time leading scorer and will also one day have her number retired as well. Oh, I mean, that's, that's a given. I think she's, um, you know, the best to play the game, and um, I get to sit and watch her every day now. Originally from Australia, Taylor is proud to call the Valley home, even this time of year. Phoenix in the summer, I mean, who wouldn't want to be here? <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I, I really love um, how it's grown. You know, I'm a foodie, so I love all the independent restaurants in Phoenix. Uh, and, you know, the heat's not bad. It's dry heat, so it's good for my hair. So. <laughs> all right, first 10,000 fans receive one of these, a Penny Taylor commemorative towel, and Section 113 will be rebranded Section 13 in honor of her retired number. Tip-off at 3 p.m. against the New York Liberty.